I'm like... <laughs> Just look right at the camera the whole time. Which I guess would probably be preferable for people watching. So it would be like... I just don't blink for the entire hour. Yeah. <laughs> Even though you're not on camera, so it doesn't mean it wouldn't matter. <laughs> I'd be like, huh? Yeah, I realized once I sent that one, I was like, we should do the podcast nude. I was like, why would it matter? Like, you, it wouldn't matter for you. I'm nude, it's just like instantly fucking the channel gets shut down. I'm like, well. I guess I could be. Dude with a rude tooth. I could be nude and not have the camera on, I guess. It's a way to work around it. That'd be pretty crude. <laughs> I'm a rude dude with a crude tooth. <laughs> and everyone's like, "Huh." Hey. I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna Man. beat Kenny. I'm like what? <laughs> we nailed it. <laughs> Not really. Not true. <laughs> Not true. <laughs> everyone's like, <laughs> "Eh." I like how, like, I think he was so flustered he didn't really even catch that in the moment. Like, yeah. he kind of did, but didn't, like... You totally could have caught him in the yeah. end. <laughs> Not true. It's like, uh... <laughs> Someone uh... called my band and told him not to show up. Not true. <laughs> not true. It's, it's like, like, how would he know? <laughs> yeah. It's like, you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Not true. We just keep saying that the whole podcast. Like, not true. Not true, not true. Like, this is real. Not true. This er is real. Not true. <laughs> Make, like, one of those old crappy remixes. That you... They weren't crappy, but oh, I remember, man. like, if you used to send me yeah, those, like, every week. It's like, uh... Okay. So, should we just get into the news, and then we'll get into our main topic, sir? Sounds good. Okay. Let me switch over to the uh, news portion. And it was hard. Um, so, do you want to go first? Or do you want me to go? I'll uh, go ahead. Uh, uh, okay. So, I don't know. I feel like it's hard for me to sometimes find news that probably people have have already, like, uh, seen or whatever. But, it's actually funny because I went on Ain't It Cool News and I'm like, I can't decipher anything on this webpage. It's so fucking horrible. Because I remember that's where yeah. you used to go and look shit up, but, like... They're every day for, like, <laughs> 15 years, probably. And then I went down this rabbit hole seeing Harry Knowles pretty much become, like, a piece of shit. And I was like, well... Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah. <laughs> that's not news. Um, <laughs> well, I guess it is if you don't know who Harry Knowles is, but then it wouldn't make sense to you anyway. Which is um, probably everyone at this point. Yeah, true. Um... So, my first thing was, like, um, I guess, I don't know if you've been keeping up on, like, the new Spider-Man, but I guess they're they're bringing back, um, like, the, the Marvel, like, the newest one or whatever with, like, Tom Holland. I guess they're, like, doing one with Doctor Strange that's, like, gonna bring in Tobey Maguire and, like, Andrew Garfield, like, as the other Spider-Man. And then they've also, like, have Kirsten Dunst and, like, Jamie Foxx and Alfred Molina, so, like... Mary Jane from, like, the original, and, like, Dr. Octopus from the original, and, like, Elektra from, like, the shitty version, and then Emma Stone as Gwen Stacy from the <laughs> shitty version, and but, then they're gonna bring... But they're like, Paul Giamatti, you just sit this one out, bro. Probably. Is he in it? I don't know, actually, because I wouldn't He's be surprised... He's, like, the best actor in any of those movies. Yeah, but he was, like, the worst character in any of those movies. I didn't see it, full disclosure. I remember I felt bad because uh, I read somewhere that he actually, like, not, like, begged, but he really wanted to play that character, but, like, I never got like, why, I never got why they would ever cast him as the Rhino, because the Rhino isn't, like, a fucking, like, small guy. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yeah. it was, like, him in a, in a Rhino mech, and I was just like, okay, this is stupid. But, uh... <laughs> I guess the newest news is is that they're bringing in the guy that played Daredevil, like, from the Netflix show as well. Mm. So I think they're, like, going to keep, like, bringing more guys in from, like, all the different, like, Spider-Man things. So they'll probably bring in um, Willem Dafoe at some point. That'd be sweet. 
as like Green Goblin and stuff. But I think this is supposed to be their big like, kind of like um, when they did like Spider Man into, into the Spider Verse, like that animated film. I think they're trying to do something like that with like, um, the live action one. But that that's cool. It sounds a little bit gimmicky to me, but I mean, as long as they they focus on making a good movie. Yeah. Like I I don't subscribe to like. Just just because these characters are in a, um, that you like are in a movie, that doesn't make it good. Yeah. And I feel like I feel like you know, a lot of the comic book movies just rely on like, hey, you like this person? Here he is. Right. It's, it's like not interesting. <laughs> yeah, I don't I'm know. Movie, I'm being a movie snob right now. Well. Yeah, I don't know. It could be worse it could be an expendables movie how dare you sir actually if they i'm, I'm gonna sign i'm gonna sign off this podcast if they made an expendables Forever. four that'd be le- legit or would it as long as they brought in jackie chan <laughs> and steven seagal he'll play a guy called jackie chan <laughs> <clears throat> and i'll be like eh, cool. he'll, he'll play jet lee <laughs> he's like it's too sad to tell <laughs> and i'm like eh. And then he's back in the next frame. I'm like, this movie fucking had no direction. Um, cool. So are you calling me a hypocrite because I love the Expendables movies, but they do exactly the thing that I'm criticizing? <laughs> no. Because you'd be right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually like the Expendables movies, but I'm also like somebody that's not hard to please. I just think that like if a movie's boring, then it's like that's the worst thing you can ever have because it's supposed to be entertainment. Yeah. I don't give a shit if it's, like, a bad, like, story, but, like, if it's boring, I'm like, Ugh. I mean, I do care if it's a bad story to a degree, but you know what I mean. It's, like, if the movie starts to get, uh... Speaking of that, we'll get we'll get to that later on, because I've got some things to say about the howling mm. in that regard, but... Um, Interesting. Not, not too much, but... Uh, do you have a piece of news, sir? Yeah, it looks like... Uh, <laughs> You're like, I'm killing some guy named Mike for shitting on the Expendables <laughs> tonight. I'm like, what? <laughs> it's like a gun comes into frame. I'm like, Ugh. No, I mean, we saw each one of the Expendables. No, yeah, I, I was just I was just fucking with you. They were them. legit movies. I just didn't like how yeah, the but... last one was, like, not R-rated or whatever. And I was like, really? Yeah, that was terrible. It's and they... Bad move. They uh, do the CGI action stuff that I always complain about too much too. So. Well, I think it, that was a bad move because they got Mel Gibson and like that's a huge get for a bad guy cuz like he's usually a good guy but when he plays a bad guy he could be fucking horrifying cuz he's like insane in real yeah. life. But like yeah. it just he had to neuter Exactly. Had to right. Bit. Yeah, that could have been so much better. Cuz they finally had like a good villain. Which is why Van Damme was so good in the second one cuz he finally Got to like be a true villain. Yeah, he was excellent. Dude, Jackie Chan should come in as a villain in the fourth one, honestly, because that would be horrifying. Cause that would be. Jackie Chan is like always a good guy, and if he's like a bad guy, I'd be like. Ugh. But anyway, what were you gonna say? Yeah, that'd be cool. <clears throat> um, yeah. So the I, my news is Indiana Jones Five is back on. Oh wow! I always assumed and, uh, they were still making it, but I didn't. Did you? Is it like one of those things where like. It wasn't. They were like it was on the it was on like the uh, the pipeline for Spielberg for like years and years and that okay. he just never got to and then he walked away at some point like earlier or last year or earlier this year. But huh. apparently it's it's back on, and if you do the math, and you track the number of years, this will be released in 2022, and it should take place in 1971. So is he going to be like? going to discos and stuff like yeah that's wild to me like that's barely 10 years before we were born and you think about indiana jones being like well he's probably not not ever ever gonna survive until like at least the 1980s when we were born right that only be 10 years from now probably still be kicking how does harrison ford i don't know Uh, nobody knows he's old as fuck (laughs) Actually, I, didn't I, like, bring that up at one point? That he's, I think like, that's his old. official age. Let me look him up. Age. Yeah, we were being ageist on a previous podcast when we were talking about... Han 78 Han years, so he'd be 88. 
hey, it could happen. Or wait, no, he'd be older than that because if we're talking like the actual movie doesn't come out till what like he'd be 80 when this when when uh Indiana Jones 4 comes out. So if they made one right. in 10 years, he'd be 90. <laughs> 90 year old fucker at discos <laughs> Grand, grandpa fucking disco yeah I I think at this point they should just leave well enough alone and call it a day but Honest, yeah I mean honestly if they do anything with the Nina Jones it should be I feel like it should be one of two things they should have what's his face take over but not call it Indiana Jones just like you know or have it be like kind of what they did with Han Solo where they have somebody else take up the mantle and like kind of like with James Bond where they have some new person play the character but you know like I said like yeah that didn't work out too hot for the Han Solo movie uh I think the only reason why it didn't was because Last Jedi sucked so much and it kind of shit all over anything Star Wars for the next foreseeable future yeah because that movie wasn't horrible i didn't think it wasn't horrible yeah i mean nobody was ever going to be as good as harrison ford as far as like iconic character but like han solo and indiana jones aren't complex characters like at all (laughs) they're just like dudes that fucking like i mean they could have done something with like fucking did i say harrison ford's in indiana jones i'm in han solo (laughs) han solo they could have made him, like, more... Like, they, they've they kind of fleshed his character a little bit out, but, like, from Return of the Jedi to fucking, like, The Force Awakens, he's still wearing the same fucking clothes. So it's, like... And he went back... They, like, reset his character to, like, what he was in the first movie. Like, A New Hope. Now, I, mean, I guess that's, that's pretty much, like, the problem with... You know, that's that's their problem. That's not, like, the character's problem, but... It's, I think it's indicative of, like, a thing of, like, well, what do you do with a character that, like, was in three movies and he went from kind of, like, a cowardly shit guy to, like, a good guy. And all you really know about him is that he likes Luke and he likes Leia. Like, he's he's in love with Leia and they'll probably have, like, a kid. And they went, like, the route of, like, resetting that character. And once they did that, it's like, well, what else do you know about him? Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Right. Like, and right. ha, ha, like, I feel like uh, what's his face uh, Indiana Jones it's even worse it's like he, he's a professor and he fucking finds treasures and like he I guess gets married to Marion Ravenwood and they have like an illegitimate kid at some point in the past I guess that's that's about the same with Han Solo you just know that they have like a kid and <laughs> except for like Han Solo like left his wife and like Indiana Jones married some old lady after he found out he had a kid for some reason. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, it's what it is. We both knew we'd be talking about Star Wars pretty pretty early on. <laughs> that's that's, yeah. that's why I, came I switched it over to the Star Wars fucking complaining segment <laughs> that I had all queued up because I knew it's hard not to. I knew that. Whatever, dude. We'll get we'll be fucked if we start talking about that. So it'll <laughs> legit be the whole hour will be that, and we won't even talk about our our like. This podcast is gonna get canceled. It's gonna be fucking. It'll be derailed. Um. So I don't know how long right. it's gonna take for us to go through the the howling stuff. Should we start now or should we like keep going with news or what? Did you have any more news that? I, I had a couple more, but I only did it because I didn't know let's, how long we were yeah, going to have. Let's, so Let's do a couple of them. Okay. <laughs> let's do a couple of them now. <laughs> All right, now. Nothing <laughs> nasty now. <laughs> it's like, hey. Two um, stops now, y'all. Two stops. <laughs> go to work. Unless, like, COVID's <laughs> in effect. I'm like, shit. <laughs> um, so, I, I didn't really know much about this until recently, but I guess, like, Nintendo started, like, doing all this shit recently where, like, they started filing, like, uh, cease and desist and, like, all this other shit against people. And, like, I guess recently they took all of, like, The Legend of Zelda, 
Ocarina of Time, Super Mario 64, and Mario Kart Wii soundtracks off of YouTube, but there's, like, no other way to listen to them online. So, like, they didn't put them up, but they just were, like, everybody that has one uploaded, they're, like, you have to take this down. And then, like... Soundtracks? Yes. And then, which they, I mean, that's totally fine. They can do whatever they want, but it's, like, there's no alternative way to listen to it online, so it's kind of, like... Yeah. Um... But then, like, I guess this is the latest thing, because they've they've also, like, I guess people were having, like, a uh, Smash Brothers tournament, and they, like, cease and desist at that, and then, like, they've been, like, um, <laughs> banning people on Twitch that are streaming playing, like, certain games of theirs, like Hyrule Warriors, and, huh. like, Splatoon 2 streaming and stuff, and I'm like... I don't know what's going on with Nintendo right now. And they also, like, I guess, told, peop- told like, a certain brand of controllers to stop m- being made, even though they were the off-brand. And I was just like, I don't understand what's going on. I felt like Nintendo was usually pretty... I don't know. I I think, like, sometimes, yeah, they, they, they're they like, you know, don't, don't make, like, an unofficial version of this game and put it online for free, which makes sense. But, like... Stuff like this kind of seems a little, like, ticky-tacky or something, you know? Yeah. Like, I thought it was kind of weird. It's like, I guess everybody's calling for, like, the new dude's head or whatever. Like, they just took over. The guy that took over from Reggie fils <laughs> the fucking... His name's, like, something Bowser. Like, his last name's actually Bowser. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, behead him! <laughs> but, like, you know what I mean? They're, like, pissed because, like, since he took over, it seemed... Not that, like, I don't think every single... I don't think it's all, like, him, but, like, I think people were, like... That's the one thing that's changed that people were, like, flipping out about. But I was like, well, Nintendo's always kind of been a little weird with their stuff, but, like, never to this extent. This is, like... I would say it's Lucasfilm, but honestly, I don't really ever remember Lucas... People always saying, like, Lucasfilm will sue you, but I don't ever really remember them ever going after anybody. You know what I mean? Like, back in the day... Like, George Lucas is pretty open about people, like, making parodies and shit of his stuff and adding stuff to the extended universe. Like, he seems to, he seemed to have not given a shit back in the day. I think he got to a point where he was just like, you know, whatever. I made my money, so. (laughs) I wonder if they're going to release the soundtracks for, like, uh, download or whatever, so you have to pay for them. Yeah, I mean, I. A lot of people probably would. Well, I think that's the thing is if, like, I think if they came out and said, hey, like, we're going to put them out on our site and you can pay for them or we're just going to have them officially on our site. Because if they had them on their, like, YouTube page, they would at least get, like, the ad traffic and money from them, which makes sense. But, like, I guess they didn't say anything and it's kind of like, okay, well, like, literally the only other way to get them online is if you, like, fucking rip them or something, which is, like, illegal. So it's like... (laughs) Yeah. It's kind of like the same thing with, like, companies that don't offer like older games for you to like buy like physically anymore and then emulation comes in and it's like okay well that's illegal but you didn't there's no alternative to play this game so like how the fuck am i ever going to play it you don't even have it on your like e-shop or anything so it's kind of like a slippery slope like not saying you know hey go and emulate anything that's illegal but like what choice do people have to play like an old game like you know, like a game that's super rare that's not maybe in, able to be bought anywhere to play. You know, like, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know what the what the answer is, because, I mean, most I could, people don't have their super old systems and stuff anymore. Right. Even if they did, it's like... They're not designed to last this long. Right. I guess they probably didn't think about that. It's kind of like old film. They didn't really think, like... Hey, let's keep all this shit for extra fucking features on a DVD when we make this in like 1930. <laughs> you know, it's like the fucking yeah. film stock was being reused and it was flammable, so some of it just burned the fuck up. It was being thrown away. <laughs> right. They're like, burn it. Yeah. Movie houses would just like throw it away and shit. But. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah. It's a random news fact that no one gives a fuck about. I'm like, fuck it. I got nothing. I'm just stalling. Like, I gotta go in the bathroom and write the rest of my fucking <laughs> podcast. John, so. <laughs> they gotta take a uh, 45 minute bathroom break. <laughs> I'll be back. What's the length of this podcast left? Okay, I'll be right back. <laughs> 40. <laughs>
And before I'm just in there like, mm, what's that? Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got. It could be a podcast of its own. It's true. A podcast. <laughs> <laughs> nice. But yeah, that's that's pretty Should much we it. Go to the main event. Yep. Ding 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 ding. Let's uh, switch it over here. There we go. I just realized I still had the Star Wars fucking bitching thing on there. There we go. Uh, you might as well leave it up because I'm sure we'll get back. To it. <laughs> I'm like, like the thing about the howling is the Last Jedi was terrible. <laughs> like not capable of talking about anything. Else. <laughs> I'm such a bitter fuck that I got nothing else to say. So I don't think uh, I care as much as you. So I'm not too bitter about it. It's just like it's not in my brain. Which is weird because you're like a huge Star Wars person, so I don't know how I like flipped and fucking became like an idiot. Maybe it's because like like I don't consider it to be like real Star Wars in my mind for whatever reason. Yeah. It doesn't bother me. I think like you and Nate are able to like disconnect that and like do that, but like for me it's like once it became like a film, like there was no way that you can just say it's not canon, so I was just kinda like fuck. You know, like, this is bullshit. <laughs> but, whatever. Okay, so. I have a question right. for you, Matt, before we get started. Yes, what was the first werewolf movie you ever saw? Hmm. That's a good question. I, it might have been American Werewolf in London. I think that probably was my, my first. I think, like, all the werewolf movies I've ever seen I saw with you, honestly, because I've seen... Yeah, we were really into them there for yeah, a while. That, Howling, um, Ginger Snaps, Dog Soldiers. I think that might be the only The ones. original, have you seen the original Wolfman? Yes, yeah, okay, yeah, that too. Because remember, we, we also watched, like, we were on a kick where we watched, like, the Creature from the Black Lagoon movies too. Mm -hmm. And that horrible one where he gets turned into, like, a human. <laughs> it was, like, yeah, the last one. I was like, when? We watched a few of the Howling sequels too. Mm-hmm. Which I don't remember too your much sister, about your this. Your sister is a werewolf. Okay. <laughs> you remember that one with uh, Christopher Lee? Yes. <laughs> I can't remember. Like that's the thing is I can't really remember too much about the Howling sequels. I remember there was a while, a time when we would watch like a bunch of like sequels for horror movies, and like we watched like Zombie, which was like it was like me too. Technically. Yeah, technically, yeah, because the first zombie was fucking um, Dawn of the Dead. Dawn of the Dead, <laughs> um, and then like we watched all the sequels, which were like mostly had nothing to do with the first zombie, like the the, the, the Fulci zombie movie, because it was all like I think like the second zombie or the third zombie movie, like whatever it was, like he got sick. While he was directing it, and so somebody else com took over, and it became, like, completely fucking weird. And then, like, from there, yeah, I mean, they were all, like, movies that weren't even, like, actually zombie movies. They had, like, a shit ton of alternate titles, and they just, like, renamed them zombie in America yep. to, like, fit them with the fucking Stay narrative. Stay on the brand. Right. Because I remember there that was the one that was, like, like, the Italian horror movies. The Bird. Like, the one where it was, like, zombies, birds or something. And it was, yeah. like, what is this like shit? Like, deadly birds. And they were all, like, filmed in, like, some fucking, like, Zimbabwe, like, town or something. <laughs> and there was, like, nobody <laughs> there. And everything had cobwebs on it. And it was, like, what the fuck? I just remember yeah, that being, like... Stuff. I feel like the first sequel to Zombie wasn't horrible, horrible, but, like instantly like they started getting really really like unwatchable like almost to the point where like we almost wanted to shut them off because they were kind of boring and bad and i was like Ugh. jesus christ <laughs> howling too uh i think it like had vampires in it but not werewolves <laughs> like they went to transylvania and then howling three was marsupials yeah I think our... Anyways. Jesus. But yeah, I think uh, American Werewolf in London was the first one I saw, and then probably Howling pretty soon after that. American Werewolf in London is kind of like the staple for like, like 
werewolf movies just for like the transformation. Um, yeah, the trans- I always thought it was the best. Yeah, but but over the years, like I think the Howling is creeping up for me. Like, I really like the Howling a lot. Yeah, it's it had like kind of a uh, <laughs> a weird transformation sequence because it like was <laughs> fucking all over the place. It was like yeah first the person's eyes went white and then they like turned yellow and then like rolled in the person's head and then it's like there were it was so obvious there were multiple prosthetics that like didn't match during the transformation and it took fucking 200 years for like the doctor to turn into a werewolf in that one scene i was like it's so long just and run. like it's it's just him like Standing yeah. still, staring with a weird look <laughs> on his face right, he's like, as he transforms for like four straight minutes. He's like, Rrr! I'm like, cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'll get to that here in a minute. We'll get to that later because I've got notes about that shit too. But, uh, so, that anybody that doesn't know, we were talking about this, or we're talking about this this week, The Howling. It is a 1981 American horror film directed by Joe Dante and starring D. Wallace. Patrick McNee, which that guy actually, I remember watching a bunch of uh, documentaries back in the day about like oh, yeah. ghosts and stuff that he like was in and stuff. So he's fucking legit. Yeah, I remember him from uh, um, A View to a Kill. Yes, yeah, yeah. He's great in that. He's like, uh, he pretends to be Bond's assistant when he's in disguise. As right. Smythe. <laughs> right. And then he gets, then he gets murdered. <laughs> he like he gets drowned. It's. I feel like it's really weird, too. It's not like, I don't know, like... Or no, Mayday, like, cuts his throat or something when he's in the car wash. Yeah. Yeah. He gets horribly killed in that movie. It's like, Jesus. <laughs> um, Anyways. <laughs> oh, yeah, so, uh, yeah, him, uh, Dennis Dugan, and Robert Picardo. And it's based on a novel of the same name by Gary Brander. Um, apparently... And Dennis Dugan went on to be the director of, like, uh, Adam Sandler movies, like Happy Gilmore. Holy shit. Yeah, that's weird. That is really weird, actually. So he started off as an actor, and then he was like, nope, I'll, I'll Was he that. the guy that played the boyfriend? Or the yep. husband? Okay, that makes sense, because I was like, I don't remember seeing him in anything else besides this movie. Like, Also, like, he takes like an instant heel turn in this movie, and it's like, well, <laughs> you know this fucker's gone. Oh, no, he's he's not the main guy. He's like the boyfriend of the the friend. <laughs> He's oh, like he of, he's, he's like the uh, the unsuspected like other main lead in this movie yep. that like takes fucking forever to become like an actual character, like most good horror movies. Um, yeah, and the main guy, what's it, Chris Wallace? Is that his name? I don't he know. He was married yeah. to D. Wallace. And oh he shit! Died like really young, so I think that's why. Oh shit! The guy that like cheats on his on her or whatever mm-hmm. in the movie and you yeah, like, they were married in real life. Well, shit, I didn't know that. I was like, this guy's a fucking loser. He's never been anything else. It's like, he's dead. I'm dead. <laughs> he actually died in the movie the way he died in real life. He got shot. Because he was a werewolf. He died of shame because you, you called him out for not being in anything. Yeah, I fucked up. Well, we're streaming live, so I can't fucking edit this out. <laughs> um, and apparently it had a budget of $1.5 million and made $17.9 million at the box office. So that's pretty ridiculous. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Um, apparently it has so wh- seven sequels. And they're going to make a re... It looks like they're looking to do a remake on Netflix. Crazy. Which, yeah. They got all the information off of fucking IMDb. So you know it's got to be true. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds right. And, uh... Like, one of the sequels was, like, a remake also. It was, like, the original Nightmare, and it was more closely based on the book than the original Howling. Like, it's really confusing. Huh. I didn't see them all. Yeah, I haven't. I they were yeah. very good. It was kind of like, um, we used to, there for a while we were kind of into, um, what was it, uh, Pinhead or whatever the fuck that this, uh... Yeah, Hellraiser. Yeah, Hellraiser movies, but they started, like getting fucking out of control like it was like not only would they like i don't know like that's the thing with horror movies that kind of piss me off is they keep retconning shit and it's like (laughs) they'll keep doing shit where like oh this is this person's like backstory and then like pinhead like in one of the movies was like not the main guy and he was like 
some a bitch compared to some other demon and i was like dude this is stupid like you know what i mean yeah. i don't know with a lot of those it's like diminishing returns exactly yeah each one is a little bit weaker than the last and it's kind of like budget gets smaller the more they explain stuff the worse it gets and you're just kind of like okay yeah although you know what there's one horror franchise that's not like that that's uh the final destination that yeah the that equals like get better and better <laughs> yeah i think those are actually kind of something that like makes sense because it's kind of like people are just there for the kill so it's like yeah and they can just keep going over the top and right. trying to top top themselves each time yeah so anyways yeah back to the howling <laughs> so we thought to do this because you recently got the new uh blu-ray or the blu-ray from uh screen factory right that like i don't know when that came out but they were having a sale on it so i bought that then i also bought uh here come or go home monsters <laughs> A Blu-ray they just oh. came out with that has, like, a commentary by Butch Patrick. So I'll have to, like, watch that oh, and listen to it. But, uh, yeah. Like a TV movie they made? Back yeah, they made, like, they had, like, two of them. It was, like, one was, like, Go Home Monsters, and one was, like, I don't know. What the fuck were they called? I've never seen this. They're see probably pretty good. Monster, or Monster Go Home and... Hold on, let me... <laughs> the problem is I looked it up and there's Aren't they like... they already in their home? So I go home and they're like, cool. Okay, it was... Uh... Munster go home. They go to England to claim, like, the Munster Hall after the death of an old relative. And then, like... That was made in 1966. In 19 fucking 81, they made another one with the original cast. That is ridiculous. Twenty That's fucking amazing. years later, but that that one was like a made-for-TV movie. I don't know. I don't know if Monster Go Home was a TV movie or if it was in theaters. But apparently they, they did that with Get Smart too. I just found out where they did like a movie in theaters and then like a uh, one for yeah, like the the show was in the '60s and then they made a movie that was in theaters in like the '80s. Jesus. He was super old. It was called the Nude Bomb. And it was not good. <laughs> I saw it. I know they tried... I remember at one point they did, like... They tried to do a reboot of... Uh, or not a reboot, but almost a continuation of uh, that. And it had, like, Andy Dick in it. Yep. Is that what it's called? The that Nude another... Bomb? Or was that something completely different? No, that, different was, that was after that. That was in the 90s. And, like, and Andy was Dick was, like, disgrace. supposed to be, like, his, his son. son yeah. Yeah. And, like... Yeah, apparently, from what I've seen, I remember, it's horrible. Like, we watched that back when it came out because my dad was a huge Get Smart fan. Oh yeah, he that was super pumped legit. for it. Or a show's legit. Get but smart. then I remember watching it. and He was like, "This is really, really bad." Yeah, apparently it just completely it bombed. Okay, so apparently it's like, yeah, like Don Adams came back for it and shit too, and like agent i guess like holy shit even like his like yeah they all came back so it was like maxwell smart is like now the chief of like the control agency and agent 99 is a politician and their bungling son zach one of the twins introduced in the fifth season of the original show becomes control star agent so does that even does that line up though like timeline wise I guess that would make sense because by the time if it was in the 60s and it's in the 90s yeah Andy Dick would probably be about that age so they could get away with stuff here and there <laughs> is Don Adams still alive or did he fucking die oh he died in 2005 I guess that's about right that's, that's about right that's when he killed him okay so all this talk is definitely uh this is, these are actually all the sequels to fucking uh, Howling that we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> the Nude Bomb. <laughs> Starring Robert Picardo. <laughs> He's just so uh, what did you think of it when you watched it this time? So, um... I... I liked it. I thought there were... 
I don't know. I think it it it, it definitely could have done with maybe some like shortening up in certain spots because when I was really? wa- yeah when I was watching it it was kind of like a slow slow burn and it was like yeah I don't know like um because I have like a shit ton of notes here but like let me see if I can find the spot where I talk about like it was also like I think watching it and i was in the mood for it and then halfway through i was just like oh this is good and then like towards the end i was just like okay what the i know that like i know how this ends because i remembered it but like i was kind of like wondering when the hell it was going to get to that point i didn't remember how crazy the ending was like it gets pretty intense it it, yeah it does there's some stuff that happens that i call and i don't or kind of don't really understand but like i i think from what because i watched the deleted scenes and that with commentary and I guess the director was talking yeah. about a shit ton of stuff got cut from the movie and I was just like including that classic hot tub scene which made no sense at all yeah I watched that, <laughs> Remember that one? yeah I watched that and I was like eh. like slim Pickens shows up and yeah like, what? yeah apparently the only one I have comment or like notes on is one scene and it specifically I wrote cut therapy scene at request of movie being too long and the director says I feel it might have been a mistake I'm like, dude, the movie is way too long as it is. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> that was what I wrote. So Man, I guess I guess maybe by that point I was done with it. I don't know why. I think I was also <laughs> just hard. like, I liked the movie, but I think I was just really tired by the end of the movie. So I was just kind of like. Yeah, you were cursing the director. Yeah, I was like, fuck you, idiot. Okay, so I'm going to start from the <laughs> beginning here. So my first note says guy in the credits named slim pickens dot 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 and then i remembered oh yeah halfway through this movie that like who that is and i'll get to that in a minute but like legend i didn't fucking i was like is this a fucking joke am i being pranked and then i was just like okay i remember who that is but actually i'll get to it now because i don't remember you know i'm sure we'll get to it later but like slim pickens as soon as I saw him on screen, I was like, I know who this fucking guy is. What the hell? Where's where where have I heard this guy's voice before? Been a million things. But the main thing I remember him for is he was on Blazing Saddles as like yep. Taggart, because his yep. fucking voice. And I was just like, okay, his actual name is fucking. Uh, it's not Slim Pickens. It's Pick like, Slimmons. Yes, <laughs> Pl- Plim Sickens. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got like an actual ne- name. It's kind of like. You know, it's a stage name, but, you know, it makes them stand out. So, anyway. Um, And, yeah, I guess you can chime in whenever, but, like, I'm just going to go through my notes here. Yeah, yeah, Um, yeah. So, my next note says, Guy asked for a half and half. Not sure what that meant. I actually looked it up. Uh, Sexual term, a half and a half, describes a sexual encounter, typically with a prostitute, during which half the encounter has been having vaginal intercourse and the other half has been having oral sex. Okay, so... Huh. On to the next one. I didn't really... I, at the time, I, I guess I didn't really... I, I assumed it was a sexual thing, because he was like... She was going through the alley, and he was like, how much for a half and half? And then, like... I guess he I thought she was... I didn't was an educational podcast. <laughs> learning. I try. I try, try. Um, <laughs> so there's a line where they say... The guy says, the neon is like interfering with the radio signal or whatever and i said neon somehow messing up radio signal bullshit man <laughs> you're really digging deep i'm trying to find like you're uh, not letting uh, you're not letting anything by i just wanted to have some funny <laughs> things for us to talk about so i was writing down <laughs> everything i could that i thought was funny or weird um guy on end of radio says i haven't heard from karen in 15 minutes i'm like well she could have been raped and killed by now yeah, that's kind of a long time. Yeah, I thought that was kind of her, like... weird. <laughs> and her, her, like, husband rightfully freaks out, too. He's like, what the fuck are you guys doing here? Um, yeah, that was, that was like, a total botch job by the police. Yeah. They, the police and the fucking news that were, like, all working together. It'd yeah, be I mean, like... The fact that she lived through that experience is, like, a miracle. <laughs> right. Um... <laughs> There's a sign that says Vide Cassettes Hardcore. I'm assuming the O was missing. Um, (laughs) The doctor turns into a vampire. He was a freak. (laughs) (laughs) Nice. Uh, (laughs) That part where the young cop just fucking blasts his ass. And, like, the, the older cop goes, 
Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, uh, cool. Yeah, those um, guys probably like weren't actors. Yeah, but, that and it was like it made it more like fucking horrifying because like they like literally could have killed a fucking innocent guy because they just <laughs> shot into a fucking door without even knowing what was going on in there. Can we talk about Robert Picardo real quick? Oh hell yeah, dude! Yeah, like I told you earlier, but he was—I didn't recognize him in the movie. Like, I somehow mm-hmm. missed his name in the credits or something. Right. But, like, I didn't recognize him at all. And then at the end credits, when I saw his name, I was like, wait, who was he? I didn't see him in this. <laughs> and then I looked it up, and it was like, he's the main bad guy. And I was like, Whoa. Yeah, he's the, the, the first werewolf that you, like, don't know is a werewolf until, like, later on. And you kind of piece things together. And, well, but, that like, and he transforms, but... It's it's good makeup, but it's also just like a good performance. Like that's the sign yeah. of a truly good actor is like when <laughs> you don't recognize him at all. He's one of the many, many, many like actors and character actors like Doug Jones that like. Funnily enough, a lot of them are like mainstays on Star Trek that like don't get enough credit and probably should be in main movies like Jeffrey Combs. Yeah, should probably be in like. A-list movies and not B-list movies. Like, they're better actors than fucking Tom Cruise and shit, but, like, they're never gonna be recognized or, like, making billions of dollars and having those huge roles. But, like, if they were, then, like, film would be, like, all... They would be a hundred times better for it. (laughs) Yeah, for sure. (laughs) So, I guess that's... This goes out to Jeffrey Combs and Robert Picardo and all the other, like unsung heroes of pretty much Star Trek. <laughs> you know, and Doug Jones. All those characters that, like, you don't know sometimes who they are, but, like, they're, like, the best actor, and they're going, like, above and beyond. Yeah, and you were on there, like, you were on the Jeffrey Combs train long before I was, because, like, I'm just now getting caught up with those Star Trek shows. And same with Robert Picardo, but, like, now I'm learning how awesome those guys are. It's just nice that, he's like... He's good in this movie. Yeah, I think that, like, yeah, he's awesome, and I think that, like, I mean, Doug Jones is now finally getting recognition that he deserves because, like, he's, like, in a main role in Star Trek, like, the new Star Trek Discovery, and, like, he's not, like, just a background character. He's, like, a main character. You know, it's, like... He should have been in movies ever since Mac Tonight. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, he sh- Oh, yeah, I know what His you mean. Yeah, character. yeah. He should have been... Yeah. He should have been... <laughs> Like, did I ask him about that, or I think I did? No, I think or I should have. Or... Uh, I don't remember. You were talking to that guy about that, the Bengals. So... <laughs> that still yeah. cracks me the fuck up. You guys were just like Bengals for life. But yeah, that was. I think I was so like starstruck. I was just like, I, 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 I. but then he like gave me. And COVID. you were too busy like being hugged. Very yeah. Gingerly. It's like, well, thank God, fucking there's no such thing as conventions now, because he'd have, like, triple COVID by now. He'd have, like, COVID 100. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, ha <laughs> COVID. Um, okay, so I guess we get back to this. Um, but, uh, so the next note I have is that, like, the Super Mario guy looking comes out of the bathroom in the apartment where Eddie lives. Do you remember that guy? No. <laughs> He's, like, took a huge shit and, like, came out of the bathroom. <laughs> and I was like, eh, cool. Um, they're in that guy's apartment and, like, a fucking dog starts going nuts, but it's so obvious that, like, the dog is, like, a trained dog because it, like, pulls its teeth back, or, <laughs> its teeth back, it's, it's like, lifts back to so you can see its teeth, and it's, like, dubbed, because, like, in the next shot when she, like, smacks the dog, it's, like, a normal, like, nice golden retriever, and I'm, like, I was, like, Jesus. Was that for, like, a jump scare? It, yeah, it was like it jumped, the, do- the dog jumped out yeah. or jumped at him, and then like she's like, get out of here, and she like slapped him with a newspaper, and he like fucking was like, Yee! and like ran off, and I was like, cool. Yeah, cool, animal abuse. Yeah, I was like, cool. Um, there was like a, the next note I have is jump cut to Karen saying no, and I guess she was like saying no to like her husband wanting to have sex but it was like another jump scare and i was like okay but 
I wrote, I'm not sure what's with these old movies having the main guy having a porn Flanders mustache all the time. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> ridiculous. It's like every... I feel like that was a big thing back then, but... Maybe that was just the style. Kind of like how everybody has a beard now. Back then it was like stashes were the thing. Because that was kind of like early 80s, late 70s, so... Yeah, I, I tried to grow a pretty good stash for uh, for November. Yeah, how'd that go? Send you, send you a picture. It, I look like Ned Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so not good. So next note is intro for news makes no sense. The cast starts walking past the camera when no one's on set yet, but the cameras are already rolling. I don't think I've ever seen a news broadcast start like that before. Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't. I missed that too. <laughs> so. I guess it's when she first comes back to, like, do her, like, you know, go back on the news mm -hmm. after she was, like, assaulted. And, like, people, they're, like, all filing past the fucking, like, camera as they're, like, getting ready for the news. And they're, like, already, like, the dude's given, like, the thing, like, tonight we have so-and-so on this, blah, blah, blah. So it's, like, obviously they're broadcasting live, but it's, like, people aren't at their shit yet. So, I don't know. I thought that was weird. Oh, Pixated gave a fucking... What does this say? A lurkage. Um, next note. When Karen and her boyfriend are driving up to the colony, he's, like, strangle-holding her. And I said, who the fuck drives like that with one arm clutching a loved one's neck? I'm like, seatbelts, <laughs> anyone? I thought that was... It was the 80s, man. Everyone yeah, that. I just thought that was weird. I was like, hey. <laughs> one of my favorite scenes... Hope these people aren't too weird. Next scene, old guy goes, ah <laughs> <laughs> That old guy's out of control. Um, Bill kind of looks like Crease mixed with a guy from The Fog. Or wait, no. Oh, yeah. Bill yeah, kind of looks like Crease mixed with guy from The Fog. Okay. I can, I can see that. Um, old man wants to burn. That was the only note. I don't understand that, but I wrote it down. Um... I don't understand in movies why if someone was scared enough to bring up a howl to their partner, they'd be fine going outside to look for said maker of sound. <laughs> That's like the Blair Witch. Like, yeah. I, think I heard a cackle last night. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Berman starts bitching at them. He's like, Jesus Christ! Let's see. Slim Pickens, Sam ne Neuf... Okay, I already went over that. Two nuns look at skeleton. The bookstore scene was really awesome. Yep. Full frontal nudity. You get to see Bill's butt. Um, Good time. Sex scene goes full furry mode, assisted by animation. Yeah, that animation. Uh... <laughs> it's a little suspect. <laughs> <laughs> by suspect, I mean it was pure shit. Um, yep, but it's still kind of cool looking in a weird way. Yeah, yeah, it was it was interesting. It was funny because in one of the deleted scenes, they were like, we didn't use stop motion animation because it looked different from everything else. And I'm like, right. but you were fine with the horrible fucking animation that you use. Like, I feel like, I don't know, the stop motion animation kind of was cool, but it also had that, like, definitely not, you know. Yeah, it was like Ray, Ray Harryhausen. Exactly. A uh, can of wolf chili and cabin. I thought that was interesting. I think, like, you mentioned, um, you were, like, waiting for things to happen, and it was kind of slow at times. Yeah. And I agree, but I think I don't mind that, just because I like movies that take place, like, in the woods. <laughs> so, like, pretty much any anything that takes place in the woods, like, I'm in, even if nothing's happening. It's just a cool atmosphere. I, th yeah, I don't know. I feel like I... I'm fine with that, but I feel like there was stuff that, like, I don't know. Maybe it's because I've seen the movie before, and I know that werewolves are in the movie. It's There's no surprise for me, so it wasn't like, you know what I mean? Like, it's not like I was like, oh, what the fuck's going to happen and stuff. Like, I knew that werewolves were in the movie. It was just kind of taking, I guess, for me a while to kind of get to that point. Um, I don't know. I think it's it's a little different because I think maybe, like, for me, like, I really like Dog Soldiers and how, like, that movie, like, it kind of has the same thing going, but it's a little bit different in that movie because there 
already on edge because they're running those uh, those drills or whatever, and then they find like those bodies and stuff. So it's it's more so that one has a different atmosphere. This one's like laid back, and then it like ramps up to like yep. you know some fucked up shit. So I was probably being too harsh on it, but um, let's see, cut off hand of the like the cut. Cut off of the the hand effect was fucking awesome. Like that was a good yeah. legit effect. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Sorry about that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Um. Let's see. So, next one, in the doctor's office, when the lady is getting attacked, it takes the werewolf forever to actually get her and kill her. Um, I thought that was a little, like, a bit, (laughs) like, drawn out as far as, like... (laughs) Yeah, it's almost like it becomes a joke, like, it takes so long. Yeah, I almost wonder if... they were just trying to, like, show off the effects as much as they could. I almost wonder if that was, like... I guess you could say that that was, like that character's thing was to like maybe fuck around because like when he transformed it took him fucking forever as well so maybe he was just trying to horrify the fuck out of people before i don't know oh next (laughs) note dr transformation is all over the place started out all white eyes then it's yellow this is the weirdest episode of voyager i've ever seen (laughs) yeah i mean the effects are cool and the guy that did them is the guy that did the effects for the thing Yes, yeah, he's... So, which, he's, like, one of the best. All but... the effects were good, they just, like, I felt like the trans- the transitions sometimes didn't match the previous and yeah, the not next one. Yep. And if you compare that to the transformation in uh, American Werewolf in London... It's that's like, like a, a masterwork. Right. I think that's, like, the first time that, like... Because, like, in... In American Werewolf from London, you actually see, like, a, almost all of it happen, like, in real time. So it's, like, yeah. before that, it was mainly, like, they would do, like, time dissolves and stuff like that, like, in, like, the Wolfman and stuff. And, like, here, like, they obviously did cutaways to, like, show new stuff happening, and then they'd have a prosthetic that would, like, do its thing. But, yeah, that shit was, like, legit. Like, you saw a fucking leg fucking be stretched out and you were like Ugh. yeah like arms and it was like the person was like yeah like it was like yeah, painful he was, he was like screaming the whole time yeah which made it way more horrifying right <laughs> um yeah so let's see i've got actually just a couple more notes here because we're almost at the end of this movie um so after i actually didn't have any notes for like the very end where they like get burned like, because at the very end, they all get put in that barn, and, like, they set the outside on fire, and, like, all of them are, like, burning inside. Yeah. Um, but my next note, when they're in the car, says, where did the werewolves outside the cop car come from? Also, they really couldn't smash the glass at all. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I think I that was... I an, have answers for those. I think that was another scene where, like, they were just trying to show off, like, the, the werewolves... Like, yeah. Because, like, cause like, the next scene, like, or not the next scene, but, like, they were, like, you know, beaten on shit, and then, like, the next thing, it was just, like, that's it. What'd you, you know? think of the look of the monsters? They looked awesome. In this... Yeah, they're really cool looking. Probably What's one that? of the best. Yeah. Um, say, Karen at the end looked like, like, I think that was, like, the worst fucking one. Because at the end, like... When she transforms? Yeah, she looked like an Ewok, a dog, or like a Chewbacca or something. It looked like yeah, not she looked scary at all. Little... I was like, yeah. what? Which made no like, sense uh-huh. because, like, the one lady transformed and she looked like all the other werewolves. Like, it wasn't like she turned into, like, a female, whatever that means, a female version of, like, you know what I mean? Like, a mm-hmm. werewolf. I, I just thought it was, like, not that that detracted from... Well, I felt it just like she looked too cute. I was like, what? Yeah. Poodle version or something. Yeah, I was just like, why do you got to kill her? Like, because, like, <laughs> she doesn't look like she's actually going to be a bad werewolf. Yeah, it's like the best dog ever. <laughs> right. 
Uh, and then I just have one more note here. So, at the end of the movie, they don't... Because I guess, like, they did film some, like, extra scenes that got cut, like we were saying before. One of them was, I guess, they show that, like, some of the people escaped the barn. Which I guess makes sense, because at the end, like, when all of them are around that cop car, like, you're kind of like, eh, how did this happen? But, like, they esca- I guess they escaped, because, like, at the end... Um, some guy says, hamburger, how do you like that lady? And then she, like, looks at the camera and says, rare. And then they proceed to cook it Great for it. the entire credits. <laughs> Which and Didn't it make you hungry for that hamburger? Like, it looked delicious to me. Well, I mean, my thing was, like, they cooked it for the entire credits, and I would classify that as a medium or medium well done, a.k.a. they, like, fucked up her order. <laughs> Which I thought was really weird. Um, and, I never thought about that before, but I think you're right. I well, it she was, should have been like, "Hey, <laughs> hey, take it off the grill." I said medium rare. I'm like, well, she definitely won't be wolfing down that. In fact, you could say <laughs> she'll be howling mad. <laughs> nice. But yeah, I just, I, I, it's not like I was looking for it. I just was like. Watching, she was like, I'll take it rare. And I was like, okay, cool. And I was like, I remember this scene because, like, he cooks the hamburger. And it was like, oh, this is pretty legit. And it's, like, an interesting way to end the movie. But, like, the credits were at least, like, two minutes long, I think. Which, like, that's not a long time in terms of credits. But back then, like, they kept credits to a minimum in movies. Like, they didn't add, like, a bunch of billion fucking credits on a movie. Not only yeah, that, think, but there was no... Did he flip the burger twice? Yes. Which, like, that's a no-no. Well, he flipped it, and, like, when he flipped it the first time, it was, like, it was already, like, super, like, browned. So it's <laughs> like, well, that's not a rare burger. So... That, I kept looking at it, and, like, there was no pink when, like, he was done with it, so... I don't know if he was making that for somebody else, or... <laughs> maybe she, he gets killed That's or the true mystery of this movie. Yeah. Maybe he gets killed, though, because she's a werewolf, and maybe she got pissed and, like, kills him. <laughs> I don't know. That's pretty much all the notes I had for it, but... The Howling 2... I think we sequel. covered it pretty well. Yeah? Is she in the sequel? That lady? I don't, uh, I don't think anyone's in the sequel. <laughs> it's, Although... just, it's just, like, two hours of a black screen. <laughs> <laughs> The end credits of Howling 2 are even better than Howling 1. <laughs> That's pretty much the only thing I remember. They uh, they put a burger, a burger starts on the grill, and they take it off, and it's like uncooks. <laughs> it's just they a put reverse. put it in a freezer, and it just freezes over time. <laughs> no, I don't remember much about, actually, the second movie it's at all. The, uh, there's a scene in the movie where the main character, like, rips her shirt off. Mm-hmm. And they just, they literally play that on a loop. <laughs> what?! You don't remember that? It's ins- it's one of the most insane things I've ever seen. I, I don't really they play know. it like on a loop during the credits. It's ridiculous. So apparently, like Howling Two was released on Blu-ray by Screen Factory, which I had no clue. Nice. Well, maybe I should look that up. What has become like? And the <laughs> the original title was not Howling Two. Sister is a werewolf. It was Werewolf Bitch. <laughs> no joke. Yeah, it says Howling 2, Your Sister is a Werewolf, also known as Howling 2 and Howling 2 Sturba Werewolf Bitch, is a 1985 <laughs> horror film. Werewolf Bitch. But I'm pretty sure it's about vampires and not werewolves. Yeah, that's nuts. What the heck? Apparently Christopher Lee's in this movie. I forget about that one. Oh, yeah. After after newscaster Karen White's shocking on-screen transformation... Wasn't really shocking. Uh, and violent death in the original Howling, her brother Ben, who we just made up, is approached by Stefan... somebody. Christopher Lee, a mysterious man he claims that Karen has, in fact, become a werewolf. 
But this is the least of their worries. To save mankind... Wait, what? To save mankind, Stefan and Ben must travel to Transylvania to battle and destroy... Sturba, the immortal queen of werewolves, before she is restored to her full powers. <laughs> what? Transylvania, the home of werewolves. <laughs> exactly. It's like... Eh? It's like Troll 2, the, the home of goblins. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, Matt, who are the goblins? It's like, what? Dude. Apparently this movie has audio commentary by the director and composer and editor. It's like, cool. There's I'm like sure that's a nothing. Real riot. Yeah, nothing on here from like anybody Any else. Christopher Lee commentary. I know. Remember that when he was shitting all over the sequel? Or the uh, remake of uh, uh, Wicker Man? <laughs> uh, was we were, he? Yeah, I remember we were watching the 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 commentary or at least i sent you that thing about it where he was like saying that like he's like we didn't fucking i don't know i think he was saying some pretty sexist stuff because <laughs> he was like ours didn't ours wasn't like you know headed by women and i, I remember like, that now <laughs> can't wait a minute what what's that have to do with anything so Which, okay. speaking of that is should we uh should we do that one next what, Wicker Man? Wicker Man? Yeah, we can. Yeah. Unless you want to get off the horror movie kick. No, I'm fine. I'm fine discussing any movie. I just, um, yeah. Yeah, I think that'd be a good one. There's a lot to say there. And we've definitely talked about it a lot over the years. Yeah. How, uh, how the acting is a little out of control in that movie, but <laughs> it's good stuff. Checking to see if there's... Yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, me. <laughs> yeah, me. I like how the first Howling has, like, all these extra features and stuff, and, like, just like every other horror movie, like, as things go on, they it's, like, diminishing returns. Like, by the third one, it's, like, audio commentary with writer-director, and it's <laughs> writer-director, one person, and it's moderated by a filmmaker. <laughs> hmm. A moderated commentary by one other guy with one guy in it. <laughs> huh? <laughs> well, I don't understand that. That's weird. Vintage interviews from the documentary Not Quite Hollywood. The wild, untold story of Ozploitation. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, because this one, Hauling 3, is like... The race is on as a colony of marsupial werewolves attempt to outwit and outlast their human counterparts in the offbeat horror film The Howling 3. So this one's about, like, marsupial wolves, a.k.a. Tasmanian tigers, roaming the Australian outback. Today, a werewolf colony that has descend des descended from these marsupials has taken over the land. I'm like, how does that, that make sense? That was the last one I saw, <laughs> but I don't remember any of it. That doesn't make any sense, though, because it's like, werewolves aren't descendant from wolves. They're, like, <laughs> a hybrid of wolves wolf in person they're not evolved wolves so the, in this one they're saying that like <laughs> Tasmanian tigers evolved into fucking like werewolves that's how science works <laughs> <laughs> we should watch this movie blood sucking bastards <laughs> I'm like there goes the bastard now <laughs> <laughs> it's like Jesus. I always think that's One so. Time Austin Powers curses for no reason. <laughs> when he calls like Doctor Evil a bastard, I'm like, that's not true. He's got a dad. You find that out in the third movie. <laughs> Austin got him in the first act. What's with that? <laughs> it's all backwards. <laughs> it's like, huh? He's just like that goes the bastard now. Fuck him. Like, Jesus. Austin's the real bad guy. Yep. Hell yeah, man. Better hurry up and make a selection. You're making me rain. <laughs> it's like, wait. Really? Why? Why? I need to make, like, waiting? A, 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 a thing for us just when we start talking about Austin Powers now. 
I don't think it happened. Oh, we did a whole all... podcast on it. That's true. Go back and listen. It was the, pretty much the de- definitive podcast on Awesome Powers. Awesome Powers. <laughs> Probably the only one ever, anyone's ever done. Nah, it's not true. I'm sure people have done Awesome Powers podcasts before. I doubt it, man. <laughs> By the time <laughs> podcasts were invented, no one cared about Awesome Powers yeah, anymore. That's true. <laughs> the only one that ever like brings it up. Um, Maybe someday. Yeah, maybe they'll make another one. They can't do Benny Me though, which sucks. But yep, R.I.P. Burn Troyer. Yeah. Well, this was fun. Yeah. I think uh, it was a good talk. I'm glad that you uh, really were scrutinizing the movie. <laughs> you were glad that I shit all over it. No, I'm just kidding. I actually just tried to get as many. Like, notes watched it as... with a fine tooth comb. <laughs> Try to get as many notes as possible so that we would have things, like I said, to talk about. Because otherwise, I mean, what else would we talk about? I mean, if you don't have notes to kind of like... just Robert Picardo. Right, yeah, which we could talk about Robert Picardo for a whole podcast, but, I, yeah. you know. I feel like preparation is definitely key to a successful podcast. You have to... I had to, like, put in that, uh, that little bit of... Uh, you know, giving a shit. Well, your your thoughts about the uh, the burger, I think, uh, were really <laughs> eye opening for me. Kind of changed my whole opinion on the movie. Throw away your fucking disc. <laughs> Grind it up, you like, fuck it. Put it on a grill. <laughs> I'm like, I'll take the Blu-ray rare, and you like melt <laughs> I, like, it. Put the Blu-ray between <laughs> the hamburger bun and like eat it. <laughs> You're like. Ugh! It's like fucking shards of glass in your mouth. I'm like, okay. what's a Blu-ray made of? Glass? Or is it, what is that? What's that material? Plastic. Plastic? Hmm. What are Blu-rays made of? Oh, yep. Plastic disc is 120 mil, milliliters, millimeters. Yeah. So yeah, it's a plastic disc. Damn. I thought they were like, you know what I mean? Something else. Oh, wait, yeah, so it also has an 8% hard coat layer. So I guess that makes sense. It's like plastic, but it's also got like a layer that's, you know, for for reflective, obviously, so that it can be red. Mm. Delicious. You were right. Plastic. Matt, did you go to school? Is that how you knew? (laughs) They're like, welcome to <laughs> technical school. We're going to be talking about, on the first day, what are Blu-rays made of? You're like, plastic. <laughs> You're like, here's your diploma. <laughs> like, that's it. You're a genius. <laughs> You're you need to certified genius. It's like, uh, cool. Yeah. Well, cool, man. So that next one is, um, what was Wicker it? Man. Wicker Man. Okay, cool. I'm in. Cool. I will. Uh, I will set that up for. Um, we can. We can talk after this. You know, whenever for like the next actual day. It'll be on Thursday at seven. We're not sure. Are we gonna do this weekly or bi-weekly? I think we can try for weekly. See how it goes. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually. But I make no commitments. I have. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, <laughs> at least, not on the air. Oh, spicy. Um. Cool. So yeah, I've got plenty of time, so I can do this whenever. But yeah, I'll uh, Wicker Man. It is so cool, man. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, any last words for this podcast? Ow! <laughs> I think it like cut out. Sorry. No, you're fine. No, not like cut. I think like as soon as you howled, it fucking like peaked, and like I heard nothing else. It was you were like ah. I was like, well, he's dead. That's what I was going for. Nice. And I ruined it. All right, man. We'll (laughs) talk to you the next time. Sounds good. See ya. (laughs) Peace. Okay, so that was that. We're going to take a quick break here. And then, uh, yeah, I'll be right back.